What's going on everybody? Rob here, Trev 2323. Okay, so I'm going against my own philosophies and I'm putting chemicals down right now for my grubs. Because the Saint, I use St. Gabriel's Organics this time. Uh, I found it on Amazon last 25 years ago, 30 years ago, I went to a, a farm stand where uh, they sell farm equipment, farm materials, farm everything, and I bought Milky Spore, and it was 50 pounds of powder, nothing but powder, and it worked really good. I put it down twice. I didn't have any problems till last year with grubs. Okay, so this part of the grass is fine. There's no grubs on that part of the grass, but on this part of the grass, there were grubs galore. And actually, this part of the grass, when I was pulling up the dead grass or whatever, I actually found not only live grubs, I found pieces of the granules from the St. Gabriel Organics Milky Spore. So even with the granules in there, it's still, it's like they put them little granules in there and they attach the Milky Spore to the granules. It's not like the original Milky Spore, it is nothing but 100% powder Milky Spore. That's the one I'm looking for, so I gotta go to a farm stand. But seeing that I had grubs right here, I went to go get this Bio Advanced Grub Killer Plus 24 Hour Kills by Contact. Okay, so I put it down really good with a drop spread, with a um, chest spreader. You're not supposed to do it with these spreaders, but I wanted to get rid of it. Now it says in waterlogged grass, do not put it down. So it's supposed to rain today, but I'm gonna wet it in there anyways. And it had a four out of five reviews. People said they actually seen the grubs come into the top. Now you do got to wet it in there, but not soak it. You wet it in there because uh, the grubs eat the roots and you're supposed to get this Saint, uh, I mean this Bear Advance or Bio Advance, it's a bear product, down to the root and that's where the grubs are eating. So I'm going to put this one down right now, but like I said, I, did, I do swear by Milky Spore because I've been in my house for about 25, 26 years and I did not get grubs back until this past year. But the original milky spore I put down was from the farm stands, was from where all the farmers go to. And it was a 50 pound bag of just powder, pure milky spore. The one you get from the St. Gabriel's or whatever, it has like a granule in it that the spore is attached to. And believe me, you're probably gonna have to put way more than that down even the original one. So right now I'm just using the bear and put it down right now. All right, with this grub killer, supposed to kill grubs within 24 hours and a lot of reviews said that within 24 hours people seen the grubs actually come into the top of the lawn uh, I, I, I don't want to say I do not swear by milky spore I swear by milky spore but you have to get the good stuff that's all powder from the farmers markets now this right here is supposed to kill the ants too uh, sod worms, uh, mole crickets, army worms, uh, cinch bugs. It's supposed to kill a lot of stuff and I noticed in a lot of people's lawns this year there were a lot of ants in this so it's supposed to take care of the ants too. I'm gonna cut the backyard then I'm gonna put it down again and I'll let you know how this one does. The St. Gabriel's Organics. I don't know if I just missed one part of my lawn or what but one part of my lawn was like infested with grubs and the other three parts are actually pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna put this down this year, but probably in a month or two, I'll go grab some Milky Spore if I can find it at the farmer's market somewhere. Uh, I gotta drive about an hour and a half out. I, I'll pick it up from there and I'll show you that. All right, bye. All right, let me show you. This is where I park my boat at during the season. But look at all the ant moles, the ant moles. This is where I would park my boat at. And there's tons of ants all over the place. So I'm gonna put this down. Hopefully that stops the ants too. It says it will. I don't know if you can see this, but I put it down and watered it like it said. And the ants that were underground are coming up going crazy. See all those ants going crazy? Coming out the ground right now because I put that ant, uh, the bio advance down. You know, it makes me want to put more of it down. I got a whole extra bag right now. But I know it is supposed to rain today. So I will put some down a little bit later. Let me see how these ant holes are doing. Maybe I should water this one a little more. There are some ants, but they ain't as much as the other ones going crazy. So, the ants are being affected by it because they are coming out the ground. But I haven't seen any grubs come up yet. A couple of people said they've seen the grubs come up out the ground 24 hours later. So, I'll give it 24 hours, but if you look at the sky, it's supposed to rain. So either way, that's the uh, this is why, why you should treat grubs. If you have a mole problem, guess what? More than likely, you got a grub problem because moles eat grubs. 
So, uh, yeah, I even put it down under the carport where there's really no grass because the grubs are going to migrate. So I don't want them to migrate where there's no grass. And there's no grass there because of the carport right there. So we're actually going to have that concrete. So either way, uh, uh, thanks for watching. I'm hoping I'm helping you out with your grub problem. Uh, I just had one patch in my front yard. Maybe I didn't put enough down where that's where they migrated to. But uh, you've seen I had some bad grubs. And here's the video of the grub now. All right, let me explain this to you. This is a grub. And that's what I treated the lawn for with milky spore. Although I used a different form of milky spore this year. I used a organic one. And it had a, like kind of rock in it. And the rock had the milky spore on it. And that's what you put with the spreader. Originally I used the powder one. And the powder one worked amazing. Now let me show you this. I thought I spread it evenly. Awesome. Awesome. And these are the ones apparently that I missed. Right here. That's how you know you got grubs. Right there. And what happens is you're able just to pull the grass right out like the brown spot. If you could pull the ground spot right out and there's no uh, root underneath it, that's what the grubs do. The grubs get their nourishment from eating the root of your grass so it did say to treat the lawn two or three times with the milky spore and then you don't got to treat it for 10 years the first one that i had i got from a farm stand and i